so I think that's again going to depend on policymakers. The challenge is so recessions, as you point out, are normal. It's normal for for you know periods of excess to get wiped out. Uh, you know to to you know take out businesses that are not really being productive. Uh, that frees people up, frees resources up to go do something more productive, figure out something new, and so that's that's completely normal. It also you know wipes out bad debt from the system. The problem is that everything is so over levered now, and more importantly, leverage has gone up to the sovereign level. So what made uh, 2008, for example, such a deep recession is that you had built up private sector debt for decades, uh, and then that rolled over. Um, and you know, it, a lot of that was then put onto the sovereign level. Uh, basically, we, we we somewhat delever the private sector. We put all onto the uh, a lot of it onto the public sector. The problem now is that a lot of it's already on the public sector, and that tends to be a more inflationary scenario because they're still running. You know, if you if you picture. 2008, uh, you know, they they were doing these like large rescue practice, pr- pr- uh, 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 like packages that were like you know 700 billion dollars. Whereas in the current environment, you know, the deficits are like double that going forward on an annual basis. I mean, it's like the baseline deficit now is like 1.5 trillion, and to the extent that the Fed is eventually forced to resume monetizing it, which you might have partially seen over the past month with you know they're still doing quantitative tightening, but now they're actually adding more liquidity into the system than they're taking out. Um, and so if you get back to a period of monetized large fiscal deficits of that scale, in some ways that's like a stimulus. But the, the problem is that it's an inflationary stimulus. And so on one hand, you have contractions in, you know, I'm, I am concerned about commercial real estate. I would not really want to be working in, you know, a fund that like, you know, finances office space, for example. Um, I wouldn't want to be in an unprofitable tech company. There are certain areas that I think are quite vulnerable. Uh, but when you zoom out, uh, that's somewhat balanced by the fact that they're just doing these ongoing deficits that are just pouring more money into the economy. And so that's why I think it's a more stagflationary type recession. I think if you work in travel, I, I think if you work in, you know, if you're a welder, if you're a plumber, I mean, a lot of these people are now making really good salaries because they're they're still in short supply and they're, and they're somewhat recession resistant. Um, so I, I really think that the recession, the severity of the recession is going to depend on on the type of work you do, your role in the economy um, and what type of assets you own. But in general, I expect it to be a, a more stagflationary type of recession and one where inflation's ready to return as soon as policymakers are try or are willing to try to get us out of that recession.